Hi, this is the Gypsy Rover with uh, Jokers on Duty, uh, Social, and, uh, and that, whoa, that doesn't want to stay up, uh, it just wants to fall over. Anyhow, uh, we'll try to fit that there like that for now, uh, so everybody can see me, and uh, so anyhow, it is uh, strictly... Joker's on duty time, <laughs> and um, on that. So anyhow, how how it's gonna work is some of the shout outs are starting to be written out, and uh, they're kind of going the, into the Magic Joker's on duty hat, and uh, on the on the green piece of paper um, is where the shout outs and jokes are kind of go. Um, on that. So again, uh, anything that's uh, all different rainbow colors, like uh, like the main fluorescent colors. Uh, when I get the flushing, uh, the actual uh, flushing cards, um, and that kind of thing, the, the mixed colorful cards. Uh, all the colors are going to represent different things. So um, the Joker's on uh, on duty color. So if you're on green paper. Uh, you actually get green or uh, any other color paper, you're good. Uh, and that kind of thing for shout outs and jokes. Um, blue paper now is only going to be for if uh, rude comments come across and uh, or inappropriate comments come across or very negative comments start coming across. Uh, then, then if it goes on to the blue paper uh then that is going to be classified as a suspension list and uh <coughs> and that so um and that so uh don't end up on this paper this is the this is blue paper and uh and that kind of thing so uh there's just that uh that that warning there um like i, I just mean like because sometimes like i know uh one time there uh mfers had a bunch of people come on there and uh, they started saying mean things to people on there and that, that kind of thing. They, they were starting arguments and saying negative things and stuff like that and, uh, and that. So uh, if that ever happens on here, uh, which I hope it never does, uh, whoever is responsible for putting those uh, rude negative comments through, name will end up on the blue paper. <clears throat> And uh, and that so uh, that is uh, the pad we want to avoid um, as much as possible. Um, there's uh, there's one guy that was actually friends with uh, my mom's side of the family for years before she passed away, and he started to come through on to uh, my Facebook saying negative things against me and and uh, saying stuff about about me and that kind of thing and saying I didn't care about her and all this nonsense and uh <clears throat> and uh uh and that's he so he's lucky i didn't have the blue paper system before uh be, be before when he was coming through um but uh now i've got got the blue paper system so any rude or uh disrespectful comments like that will be jotted down on blue paper and uh and and the time will be recorded too um so all that, uh, like, like I said, always, uh, you know, if you come on these live streams, respect one another, respect these shows. We just ask, we said, we're just asking no negativity of any kind. Um, if nobody knows what negativity is, uh, it is a word that is actually in the dictionary. Uh, there is, there's a lot of different definitions for it and, uh, and that kind of thing. Um, underneath the definitions, it, it'll, it'll, it'll also tell you. Uh, and it's basically, it is basically saying rude or arrogant comments against somebody that is, or making an accusation or, um, making false accusations and that kind of thing on people. And, uh, on, like, and that kind of thing is what negativity refers to, um, which also could also is another word that refers to hate and, uh, and that, so, <clears throat> we're about, uh, we're actually, we're actually about promoting positivity not negativity so you know respecting one another and treating everybody as they as you know you would want them to respect you and that kind of thing um so anyhow that's what the blue paper is going to be is going to be for um 
the but for as far as the green paper goes, uh, that is the merry. It's gonna have the merry Christmas shout outs. This is the good paper. Um, if it, like again, you get the shout outs on the green paper, you're actually good. Uh, you're safe um, and that kind of thing. So. Um, so green paper just means that you get an everyday shout out and that kind of thing, or Merry Christmas wish, and that that kind of thing. And I I, I just hope nobody ever ends up on my blue paper, um, and and that kind of thing, um, and that. So uh, green paper is the actual good paper, and any other, any any of the other color paper is also the good paper, which is you know where jokes are gonna be told on like maybe the pink, uh, purple or something like that won't be recorded on blue um and that kind of thing so um so basically the blue pad is basically our jokers on duty security pad so um if there is any problems they will be recorded and uh and that kind of thing so that that is just kind of pre-warn you with the blue one um <clears throat> anyhow uh the the green paper is is the safest paper to be on uh because that's that's where you're gonna get uh when we start our shout outs and that kind of thing uh our positive shout outs and and that kind of thing uh people you know people have their shout outs and that kind of thing out, out to people like the merry christmas out out to people and the happy new years uh it's all going to be done on any other color paper uh, just will not be done on blue. Uh, blue is just basically emergency security paper in case of emergencies and that kind of thing. Um, so that is a, a, the blue paper is a totally separate pad. Um, that is actually the blue paper is a dangerous paper. <laughs> um, that can get you into a lot of trouble if you're not careful. <laughs> um, so anyhow, um, this is a good paper. This is the green paper. Uh, this is where all, you know, everybody, every day, uh, you know, like, like Michael Costa has his everyday shout outs, um, and that, and that kind of thing. Um, so Jokers on Duty is going to have their shout outs, our, our actual, our coffee time social, uh, will start in the new year, which will start in the Jokers on Duty lounge here. Uh, I do apologize I didn't put on the Christmas lights tonight. Um, and that, that, that kind of thing, which I will pick up again tomorrow night. Um, it's just so busy tonight, just getting, um, getting all the, uh, getting all the, uh, shout outs written out on the green paper here for you. And, uh, Merry Christmas shout outs and that, um, and that, so, uh, and that way, so, cause it is Christmas season is, is a common and, uh, and that, so, uh, Christmas is not that far away around the corner. And uh, so anyhow, there will be a Jokers on Duty sign going up behind me. Uh, that will be probably being made up as well, um, which is going to probably going to be probably going to go up on the walls, um, which is going to be a ni nice, nice Bristol board. Uh, I've seen some nice color Bristol boards at the dollar store. I might buy to do up the joke, big Jokers on Duty signs. Uh, I am going to get uh, like again. It will be done on blue Bristol board. It will be done on other brighter colors. Uh, and then it'll, around the studio, they will actually be drawn up and hung up um, on that. And in the new year, uh, we are going to go back to the double camera, uh, where the double vision camera is, uh, where you actually see you see me on here, and then you see me on the bigger camera. Um, and that, so, um, and, again, and again, there's pieces for that that I, I can actually order uh, in the future. Uh, like like the video SD cards for it and that kind of thing. I didn't think you could still get them. Um, so, um, I'm not. So, oh, that's going to fall over there. Oh, there we go. Oh, there goes my phone. <laughs> um, and that. So, again, this is a, this is a good, uh, good joke is on duty social. Um, and that. So, um... And that, so I hope everybody's always still enjoying these shows. Um, like, like I said, we're about we're about promoting peace, love, and positivity. Uh, you know, no negativity of any kind. Um, on one of our other streams, I am going to actually look up the word in the dictionary because I do have a dictionary here, and uh, there is a lot of several bad meanings for the word negativity. Uh, what it actually, what actually the dictionary has to say about it. And uh, basically, it, it it's word used in several 
uh, sense is basically referring not ever saying anything nice about anybody and that kind of thing. And even the dictionary quotes, uh, any dictionary will actually quote the meaning of negativity actually actually mean refers to uh, we we refers to uh, a lot of um, hate and uh, and it puts it in and they use the word negativity to put it in a politer way um, and that kind of thing of of wording it in the dictionary one but underneath the meanings of it actually relates back to hate anger um, revenge on people name uh, inappropriate name calling uh starting arguments that kind of thing um bullying so um there the, there is there is a lot of that actually fits in that category um and that and that kind of thing so we're not we're not about that we're actually about promoting peace love and positivity uh and that same with the mfers uh you know and that so we're trying to keep these streams going as possible and safely for people to enjoy and that kind of thing and that so you know and uh so that's why we have our rules and regulations that we do uh to make sure that it is it is a safe place for people to come in and socialize hang out and chat um without having to be you know having to put up with bullies or uh you know being attacked by other people and uh <clears throat> which in everyday technology you see a lot on the internet um a lot of nowadays and that uh just like i seen earlier today i seen a video on that came through facebook that i really didn't uh that i wasn't really too happy to see um about what's going on going on in the states but again i won't get into that because i don't want to get into politics and that kind of thing on here i uh, will say that for jesse heck yes uh but again it is i didn't like to see what was how people were being treated and uh and that kind of thing but um that's as far as basically i i, I can put it at that point um on that but uh you know because somebody's because somebody somebody's a, of a different culture because they come from, from some somewhere different or whatever uh and that i didn't i didn't like i didn't like the videos i seen and uh whoever posted that that was uh you know i i know you see a lot of that on the news but again that should have been refrained from actually being posted on facebook um that is not really appropriate for uh facebook to actually be posting uh, onto Facebook or anything like that. Um, some of the, some of the, some of the. In the, uh, I'll put it in this uh, in discreet way. Uh, it has to do with what has been going on with the United States and um, uh, now with Mister um, with a, with their new uh, president and that kind of thing about the Im importing back of um, people from other countries and that kind of thing that try to come through immigration and that and uh some of the things he's doing to them and that kind of thing um and that uh again that should have been re those kind of videos should have been reframed off of facebook but again people are people are, are actually posting them through and uh and that and apparently in some of those videos i guess there's been some shootings or whatever um where it actually did had a warning thing where people it said people have been being shot or sh or, or been shot at um where there's been gunfire or went some small kind or whatever and uh again that was coming through whoever somebody posted it i don't know who posted it somebody posted it and uh it was coming through all the facebooks and that kind of thing uh yeah you do see a lot of that in the news i can either again i understand you hear about that on the news and that kind of thing but um people should uh i personally think should not be uh, should not be actually using facebook to post that kind of thing through uh especially with uh, the amount of uh, hate that's in those videos and the amount of violence and negativity that's in those in those uh you know videos where you actually see somebody actually suffering uh and then they're being attacked because of their skin color. Like, I mean, that is crazy. Um, like, I mean, that is just totally wrong. Uh, and uh, and that, but 
you know, it's uh, what can you do? That is society we have to live in today. Uh, but you know, it kind of, it kind of, it kind of, when you're soft-hearted type person, it kind of hurts you to see that uh, and that kind of thing. But it can be a little, uh, it can actually be a little disturbing too, and uh, and that. So um, again, so. That's what I said. It, you know, this is. Uh, I'm gonna hand this department over to Jesse Heck. Yes, because this is more of his uh, department to, to go into discussion on. Uh, because people are having kind of. There are people that are everyday Canadian citizens like myself that see this come through, and then you know it's. You know, uh, to see the president or a video of the president doing this of the United States coming through, and you see him in videos doing this. And, uh, you know, allowing that t kind of negativity and uh, activity going on, um, you know, that's why I said because the fact it does have to do with the politicianal end of things, that's why I said that I'm going to hand that discussion department over with Jesse Heck, yes, um, to 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 have his to have his feelings and his his opinions on all that. Uh, because, uh, like, like, like I said, I don't even know who the person was that posted this through my Facebook. It came through my Facebook page, but I guess it comes to the public Facebook page, no matter what. And you can't. And it's very disturbing to see something like that, and especially because it's do. And the people it's being done to are actually American citizens. Who were born in the United States, uh, just because their parents were from a different country or whatever. Or because their skin color was a different color, um, these are actual American citizens that have been American citizens since their childhood for years, and uh, that are being treated this way. And it's it's just all because of their culture, because of their their heritage. Uh, they're being bullied and they're being harassed. And they're, you know, again, you you heard some uh, when I when I actually I was shocked when I first seen these videos seen these videos pop up through. Uh, through the home page and uh, where there was uh, you know where it, it did say in the message that warning that uh, some people were shot so um, you know that is uh, that is kind of uh, disturbing like me growing up as a kid I, I've always had uh, as a kid I've had friends of different uh, nationalities different you know you know they they were they were color, they're multi color people cultured people you know and uh, we got along just great when we were growing up you know you know we had a good we had a very 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 good friendship and uh and that kind of thing so we accepted everybody for their differences and that but this generation it's uh, getting really bad in this world today so 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 i mean i'm just hoping that uh you know 2018 is not going to be as bad as 2017 or, or is not planning on you know in our in our world in our world today or society that we're living in today uh, is so corrupted that it doesn't get I hope it doesn't get any worse from here from this year on uh, you know but uh, if it's one of those things where history's kind of repeat itself you know we sometimes like I said we don't have control over that and uh, and that kind of thing. But uh, again, um, this is a PG show, <laughs> um, so that's that's what I said. So if any, if I see any more of those uh, videos come pop and uh, come peekabooing like it likes to, uh, because there's uh, you know there's people that just will just pass like Facebook is public, so people are do have their opinions and they they're like i mean they they facebook's too freedom they 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 will post stuff like that we cannot get around that uh so um i'm not so for so so for uh those kind of a department um and that so I, that's why i said that is a good department for Jesse Heck yes to cover um with his shows um on his opinion on all that, uh, so I mean, like everybody has their own different opinions. Like I have my, you know, my opinions in that, but I don't. Sh I, I, you know, it's uh, in our serious topics. Uh, that is, out of all the serious topics we had, this one's going to get a little too deep. So that's 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 what I said. So next time when I get the invite, uh, next time Jesse uh, Jesse Heck Yes is on, and I get invited to his stream. 
Uh, I'm going to say uh, this kind of topic, uh, we're going to save for his department. <laughs> uh, so, because uh, he does basically all, he, with his dreams alone is not PG. It is, uh, it is, uh, is higher than PG, which his dreams has to do with actual politician, with actual politics. And uh, so, so, the, so that way it's, uh, so... Uh, so if people want to po uh, point, uh, you know, seeing the videos and have the same feeling I have about seeing them, or kind of hit you the same way it hits other people, um, you know, go to Jesse Heck yes, and uh, when he's on live stream, and uh, that this will be more of his, this actual on how deep this topic is would be more of his, uh, his live stream department. Um, and that kind of thing for for the actual discussion end of it, anyways. Uh, but uh, like I said, to and like like to you know, it's just things ha happen in this world we can't control. Um, you know, it's 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 just just the way our world is. It's so corrupted, and it's getting more corrupted, and I don't know why. But uh, you know, it's uh, that's why I said it's uh, any more fools start sending is sending those kind of videos through Facebook and hit and, and it's coming through everybody's uh, Facebook page because every time you send something to to uh, post something on your Facebook it goes through everybody's page or it goes to the home page and uh, everybody's page dings so um, that, that's that's what I said so that would be an actual that is Jesse Heck yes's, uh topic <laughs> to deal with uh, to deal with those those, those departments uh, so anyhow uh, with Christmas Eve um, good I got, got the yellow paper and um, in my hand <laughs> um, so anyhow again the yellow paper is the Merry Christmas shout outs and uh, there is also uh, going to be the Happy New Year shout outs and uh, the jokes are going to be on start going to be start written out on the uh, yellow and uh, multi culture uh, multi colored uh, cards uh, whenever I can get those but uh, the blue cards will be removed from the box because anything blue is uh, what you call negativity complaint pads and which is jokers on duty security department. So, um, so that way, you know, we can keep, uh, so if there is any problems or, and that kind of thing, Joker's on duty is going to keep a record of that, uh, and that kind of thing and times and uh, the actual times and, uh, what time it's come through and that kind of thing. And, uh, so I hope we don't have any negativity. Uh, I think this will be a good, uh, drill for MFers too, uh, with Michael Klotz. Um, just in case future wise, Vied does ever have any more problems, is to have. Uh, and it, again, I'm the same way. I'm too soft hearted. Um, but again, I, th I think 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 it'd be good if uh, he ha does have like a pad system. Uh, doesn't have to be a color system, but have like an actual um, what you call uh, set up an actual uh, security department uh, with MFers. Uh, that way, if um, anything inappropriate come, uh, uh, if you get an inappropriate people coming through, uh, that way it can be jotted down on paper the time and how it happened, and uh, so and that so you're keeping track on, uh, and then and then also take it take down the name of the um, the. Um, I think this is a good this is a good drill for all streamers. By the way, if you're a Facebook streamer, this is a good drill for all Facebook streamers to have. Now, this is the yellow paper. This is a good paper, um, uh, but uh, in all of in security protection wise, um, you know, I think it is a good idea for all uh, Facebook streamers to have some type of uh, a security system, like pad system. Uh, so if there is any issues with any of uh, your commenters and uh, something that, like let's say if some some, some negative uh, behavior comes through or if there's any fighting on your on, in your comments that you you uh, happen to noticing or some strange behavior or hating uh, or people going through just to yell at somebody else or to swear and curse at somebody else which is kind of jeopardize your stream. And could possibly Facebook could actually possibly shut you down. 
uh, you don't want to face those risks. So I, th I, I, th I think that the security pad system is a good move for all streamers to do if, if, you, if you guys really want to keep your live Facebook streams safe and going. And uh, so be on the ball with everything. Um, so that way you've got, uh, you've, you've got times, dates, and you actually have a name of, uh, you have a name of those actual, uh, Facebookers that are causing the trouble, the, uh, uh, that, that are arguing and causing, uh, argument, or is causing a dispute on your live stream and that kind of thing. So as those Facebookers happen to, to jump in, because these go public, like these are public, anybody can actually click on them and go into them. And uh, so that way you're keeping your live stream, uh, all your comments under control and that kind of thing. Uh, watch for the, watch, watch for the inappropriate ones and uh and that kind of thing so that way you got uh, a record of their name and everything else like that or their facebook name or whatever they're going by um there is uh like i said this friend of my mom's uh, my mom did pass away back in june and uh the guy keep the guy keeps coming through my facebook and he's saying negative things towards me against me and uh and that and then now because i've got got the blue pad system uh, every time he comes through and says something negative or he swears at me or says anything negative about my wife or, you know, or, or, you know, or any profanity, negative language that comes out of him, it is being, it is being marked down and it is actually being reported to cybersecurity. Um, and that, so, um, that way if there is, so if he's, if he's, if there's too, if there's, if, the, if I, so if, if he's, uh, actually written is actually written up um, all the time and dates he's doing it um, meaning he's he will he can, he'll be looking at being charged with a criminal offense and actually be shut off of internet in generally <clears throat> and uh, and it's not a good behavior too because I know this guy is an actual store business owner and uh and it's also jeopard not only that is also jeopardizing his store too so because he's doing it right out of his store so um his store computers and apparently he apparently uh and that he's got this kind of hacking software that actually for some reason is blocking facebook itself and uh, i don't know how he's doing it or where he got his hands on it but uh it is too strong of a software and um Again, even even he's got it block. He's got Facebook itself totally blocked, so they can't read what he's passing or what he's passing through onto me, and that kind of thing, and uh, or what he's saying about me or saying about about, about my wife to me directly, and uh, that's why I said if it if it continues to keep up, uh, that's why I've got the blue pad system now and that kind of thing that. Uh, that, and I hope everybody else don't ever end up on that. Um, that's why I said always, always be remain respectful to one another and that kind of thing. Uh, don't target, don't attack people. Um, you know, we have to keep these as safe as possible. Um, and at, at this point in time, I cannot give you the guy's name uh, due to the due to the liability uh, uh, confidentiality uh, laws of Canada, Ontario. Um, and that kind of thing. Um, at a later date, uh, but again, I do know the guy's name. He is uh, again. I am up on. I am actually. I'm actually uh, up on top of the ball with everything. Uh, let let you know that the the police have actually been notified about his behavior, and uh, and that kind of thing inappropriate behavior and that kind of thing and some of the the the, the uh the criminal uh, th uh some of the criminal made of accusations he's coming out with towards me and my wife and that kind of thing uh some of the things that he's saying harassment things he's saying and that kind of thing that i don't feel comfortable with um you know that's that's what i said so, uh, that, that's uh and even the police told me they said if he's a store owner he should know better um if he keeps it up they said just mark it down on paper and they said you know if they get it down on record and uh if he keep continues um the charges can be laid and uh he he will lose it he'll actually lose his he generally he could lose his store and generally as well 
and plus he'd be shut right off the internet like like the OPP is is got grounds to go to RCMP and shut him right down <coughs> so um so that that's what I said uh be smart don't end up on the blue list <laughs> uh and that so uh, that's why I said, please respect one another. Don't uh, don't bully anybody. Uh, you know, you know. Don't uh, don't uh, don't say anything that is going to hurt somebody. You know, generally, or you know, is is going to is going to target somebody in a very pedophilia way, pedophile or whatever you call it, pedophile-ish way. Um, you know, and that that kind of thing. Like I said, all, always respect one another, and uh, always share and promote peace, love, and positivity. Um, you know, um, you know, and uh, I know things happen that shouldn't happen. Um, the fact that um, because I'm six hours away, yes, I grew up in Peterborough, Ontario. Um, I'm six hours away. I do not drive. Uh, I, I was stuck in a, like, things happen so fast with my mother, and I was stuck in a position where I could not get down to her. Um, I tried everything to get down to her. I had my Optimus Club actually, after she went, uh, donate to the chair disease, uh, center that she died of, uh, charity, and I was grateful for that, so I I, I went and uh, made arrangements with them to uh, to for them to donate to uh, the Hunt Peterborough Huntington Society. So I did everything I could 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 to get down there to try to clean out her place. I had to even give my sister authorization to clean it up, um, you know. And uh, I just couldn't. I was in a position. I was stuck in a position that the last minute I couldn't even get down there. And uh, to be with her when she went, my mother, and and that kind of thing. And for somebody that has been friends with her for years to come onto internet and come automatically, I didn't even know how he's getting through my Facebook because he wasn't even on my friends list to begin with. Um, he was just somehow he was hacking his way through, and he was saying he was coming out with a lot of this neg negativity and pedo pedophilishing sayings and that kind of thing towards me. And uh, this was never ever like him before, uh, and that. So I mean, it's like all of a sudden he's he, he's coming out with the profanity language, uh, perverted language, or profanity language against my wife and that kind of thing, and uh, that I actually led totally. It was it was constantly going on, uh, even when even when she was sick in the hospital before she even died. It's six months before, nonstop. It was constantly he was con constantly coming through and saying that this kind of stuff to me, and uh, you know, and uh, I just at this point after after my mom went and that kind of thing, and and, and he kept continuing, kept continuing. Uh, I just I just got fed up and I filed a police report, and uh, and that kind of thing. So, again, this is uh, that's that that's what I'm saying. So, um, I'm saying so. That's why I said now I've got the uh, the actual pad and paper, uh, the blue pad and paper. So if he comes through again, and he is kind of he is gonna is gonna continue, uh, he's gonna be written up. And uh, and that which is going to go right, which is actually going to be be sent off to cybersecurity and be sent off to the OPP and RCMP, and uh, and because the fact that the guy is is a business owner, it can actually harm and jeopardize his actual his uh, his his store business license. Believe it or not, on that one, um, and and that kind of thing, uh, because he would never ever treat his customers like that, uh, and that kind of thing. Um, you know, it was just, uh, it was pretty, it's a pretty shame that my mom had to be friends with these kind of people. Uh, she, she got herself in with a lot of weird people. I don't know why. Uh, and I could never understand why. Uh, they might've been all right when I was a little kid, but, uh, their true colors are starting to come out now since I'm older. And, uh, you know, and, uh, some of these people my mom actually got hanging out with are not too hot under the collar. And, uh, you know, and I'm starting to see that now as I'm older, uh, which I didn't see when I was a little kid, and that I should have. And, uh, but I was a little kid, I didn't know, right? I was growing up 
as a child when I was living with her. But um, again, it was just some of these, uh, some of these, you know, wing, wing dingy, dingy me thing, dingy me thingies. Uh, she was hanging out with, um, you know, it's, some people she hung out was 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 always been okay. But then there's certain ones, uh, you know, she. Because she, she went to school with his mom, and uh, that's the only reason how I knew him since I was a little kid. Um, you know, and uh, and that's so, um, and that's so, I mean, I mean, like, uh, she got herself, the, she got herself tangled in with, when she was alive. She was, when, when I was growing up as a kid, she got herself tangled up in the worst, with the worst type of people. You can have to get yourself dangled in with, um, and that. So you know that's 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 what I said. Like he, yeah, the guy is like you know the guy is a big time store owner, but you know that does not mean he does not have skeletons. You can, that that you know he, it goes to show you that they all have skeletons in their closets, <laughs> very 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 big huge ones, but um, at that, um, but. Uh, yeah, so um, that's that's what I said. So now, since now I've got a, a pad and paper, um, if if he starts hacking me again, uh, or he starts coming through and saying some of these things again, um, I'm a, I'm I, I've got the pad and paper. It's gonna be written down. It is gonna be. It is going to. It's gonna be written up, and uh, and that. So which is gonna be written up on the blue paper, <laughs> the security paper, uh, and that kind of thing. And uh, and all the times and dates and everything he says from Word will be recorded down too. So uh, whatever I read that he's 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 saying to me through Messenger or whatever is actually going to be recorded down on paper. Um, and the messages are actually going to are going to be saved. And uh, that way it'll be written down on actual uh, into like a into a secure actual security report. So that way it'll be it it'll, it'll be written up and gone and be gone be gone off to cyber internet cyber security. Um, I tried finding an actual the actual phone number for Facebook itself staff a direct telephone number. I could not find one, um, and that so um, that which which was which kind of made it harder too. Um, uh, people said, uh, well, my friend says, well, you know, you can always report them on fa through Facebook. Well, I tried that and, uh, it, sh it, it came up, said, said unavail uh, unknown, s unknown, uh, hacking, uh, unknown hacking software, uh, cannot be identified. And, uh, that way it was like... Technically, that's what toll uh, says it's and it, and it was, underneath it was attached a note that this person has a certain type of hacking software that does not even allow Facebook staff to actually view uh, any of these comments at these particular time, uh, meaning they can't get through themselves. Um, they couldn't even get through to read it, and uh, because whatever he's using in his store for a computer software he's he's got something downloaded that is is actually that is actually blocking out Facebook itself uh, so they can't read his messages and that kind of thing um, so so he's t he's 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 got some type of a hacking software uh, that allows him to get into other people's Facebooks without being on their list and uh, Facebook can't even view what he's saying or typing. Um, and that's pretty bad because usually um, Facebook can actually go in and read what you're writing and that kind of thing. Or their security department can actually go in and read, read, read what you're writing. And if they send, and I got it noticed when I tried to actually uh, send a report to Facebook to report to actually report what he was saying, uh, they said his actual protect uh, his actual particular uh, software that he, he's using does not allow Facebook authorization doesn't allow Facebook staff to be authorized to to view any any of his comments or write, or whatever he's typing out and uh that it's blocked from their viewing and that is pretty bad 
Um, so basically he can get away with saying anything he wants about people and that kind of thing and uh, get away with all this kind of kind of bad behavior and that on there and uh, and it's pretty bad when Facebook can't even read it uh, because they can't even save it they can't they can't copy what he's saying anything they can't they can't they can't view him um, because he's got he's actually got Facebook blocked <laughs> uh, itself so st he's so he's got Facebook totally locked out of there so they can't even pick up on anything and uh, and that so so it must have been one of those uh, I, all I know is it's a, it's a software they don't sell here in Canada he must have got it somewhere over in the states or something um, because there's some parts of the states that do sell those kind of special softwares for those kind of things but um, I don't. I couldn't ever see him getting it here. I don't. He must have. Must have went through some type of uh, uh, whole, wholesaler or dealership somewhere else to get it out of the country. Uh, or that's why I said through the states or something to get something like that. So, um, but anyhow, um, so anyhow, I'm playing it smart, and uh, that's. That that that's what I said. Uh, I did check check my friends list to make sure he was not on my friends list, and uh, no, he is not on my friends list because I never ever added him or sent him a friends request. And uh, but somehow he was coming through my Facebook on his own, and uh, and he was able to type to me on his own, and uh, and that kind of thing. And um, so that's what I said. I am keeping a record of everything. Um, uh, he's, and that, so, you know, if he, if, la lately, uh, since the last, uh, three months, he was doing it constantly, uh, ever since I filed the complaint, uh, he has, he has settled down a bit, but if he starts up again, uh, that's now I'm smart, I've got, i got, got the blue security paper, he's gonna be marked down, on, he's gonna be written up on that, and, uh, and that, so, and I know him by name. And uh, and that kind of thing because, like I said, my mom's been friends with his family for years, and uh, he he kind of uh, used uh, said something and used used my mom's death to break off our friendship, and he was the one that actually broke it off, and uh, and that kind of thing, and uh, he was very bullyish about it. He was very very mouthy and profanity about it, swearing and cursing about it. Um, and uh, blaming me for for not going down to see my mom when she was dying and everything else like that. Like I mean, uh, like I don't control this. Like none of this is my fault. It just happens. Um, we have no control over this. And uh, and that like I tried everything to get rides down there. Couldn't get down there. Like I'm six hours away from there. Um, you know, it it was costing me money I didn't have. It would have cost me money to uh, that I didn't have and for me to board a Greyhound uh, a bus being under very or traveling under very stressful conditions like that uh, it is not a good idea uh, because I could get into Toronto I personally myself could go missing in Toronto and uh, because uh, you know you're under all that stress and tension and then you have to change buses and uh, with with the layover, I, I could be I, I I could get very depressed to the point I could wander off in another direction, not realize why I'm wandering off because I go under stress too heavy, and uh, and that kind of thing. And uh, you know I could end up falling in the Bay of Quinney or drowning or whatever myself. And uh, it was a risk that I was not willing to take, um, and that kind of thing. Um, because it was it would have been too dangerous on me on the traveling. And, uh, and that because I, I didn't, I wouldn't have, you know, especially when you don't have anybody with you to travel with you. And uh, it's really hard. And then, too, I don't want to je jeopardize everybody else on the bus lines where the point is, you know, I could actually be kicked off, kicked literally right off, off the Greyhound services. Um, and that because they wouldn't understand what I was going through. Um, it, it it'd be too frightening on the other passengers, and that's that's that that's why I said that's why you know I I didn't I didn't I couldn't make it down there and that kind of thing, uh, because in that kind of situation I'm a type of person I would actually have to be transported by vehicle down and back, and uh, with an actual professional worker or whatever else like that, um, 
you know, um, I couldn't be left alone. Um, because uh, if I was left alone, uh, then basically what would have happened, something could have happened to me. And uh, I, I could wander off, I could fall in the lake, I could drown myself. And uh, or I, or getting into Toronto, I could wander off and get lost very easily. Even at my age of 37, I, I, I could actually personally go, I can physically go missing. And, uh, and that. And uh, especially, you don't have, no one knows that it was my mother. So, um, so anyhow, uh, I wanted to, that's why on my own protection of things, uh, I refrain from going down. But for somebody to come through, uh, you know, tell, you know, yipping and yapping at me about that kind of thing, saying, oh, you know, uh, drop what you're doing, get down here. You know, they don't, they don't understand the type of stress, more stress to put me under, which could actually, which, which they could actually be responsible and have the liability if, if I actually, if I actually went missing myself, or I ended up commit, or I ended up drowning or something myself. Uh, they don't realize uh, because of all that stress they put me under, on uh, that how responsible they could be, uh, legally wise. Uh, if something had ever happened to me, uh, go, coming from here, traveling to Toronto, and Toronto's bad, and uh, you know Toronto's bad enough. I mean, it's a big, huge city, and you know, in those kind of, kind of uh, stressful moments, uh, people don't even make it to where they're supposed to be. Um, you always hear in the media they have gone missing half beat halfway between and they found them laying in a you know drowned in the lake or floating in the lake because they went they went missing because they wandered off because of how much stress they were under and uh because people keep putting them under and uh and especially one too which is pretty good I, at that point I had just gotten over it too and uh well he kept it up so you know some of the some of the, the mean profanity and negative things he was coming out with uh was not even a, was not even appropriate to be written on facebook uh you know it was uh it was a lot of swearing profanity everything um and that kind of thing and uh which was actually vi was actually vic victimizing me and uh and I was becoming a form of harassment and uh and that kind of thing um that that's what I said. Like he was, a, he was friends, good friends with my mom for years when she was alive, and even when she was alive, when I first moved out on my own, uh, he even started up then, and started being started started being like that. So I, ever since after, ever since she got sick, she passed on. He's gotten worse, and uh, he's all this whole time he's been coming through my Facebook constantly saying this crap, and uh, I just got I, I I just got fed up with it. And uh, and that kind of thing, but uh, and that. So um, anyhow, um, that's so. You know, it's uh, that's that that that's why I said so. That's why I said if he starts up, if he keep, if he decide, well, like I said, like now, right now, it's pretty good. Ever since I filed that other report, he has settled down a bit. But if he ever starts back up again, he is going to be marked down on paper, and all those times are going to be recorded. The other times have been recorded already, uh, from the last from the last few things he was saying that he was coming through on his own. He like I said he's not even on my friends list. Um and that kind of thing. So all that in, all that's been already been pre recorded. Um that's why I said if he continues to you know, if he st happens to start up again and uh he comes through again, he is actually going to be he's gonna be officially written up. And uh that is that is gonna be dealt with. Um, because like like I said said there there's no negativity allowed um, whatsoever of any kind um, and that kind of thing uh, that's and that so that's why I always like Michael Klotz shows because I'm actually learning a lot from Mike and uh, oh thank you Michael Klotz by the way I'm learning a lot from your shows uh, especially about uh, the way people are in society today 
and that kind of thing and uh, how he actually promotes the peace love he always is always a cheerful person Mike is always a cheerful person he's he, he shares the peace love positivity and uh, he, his shows is actually teaching me how, how to deal with some of these people and uh, and that kind of thing so um, and that so there was uh, you know and that kind of thing so um, so he's kind of so that's 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 why I'm grateful for the MFers because uh, they're actually directing you know helping me how how to identify uh, internet issues uh, where at one time I wouldn't know how to identify them um, when they come firing at you like that and uh, out of nowhere and uh, and and actually how 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 to deal with them. Um, you know, it's um, and that. So that that's why I said I, I I am I am learning a lot a lot of uh, new skills I've never learned learned before by just watching the MFers and that. Um, especially I like how he uh, he gets in the joking mode too, uh, and that. And uh, I always love I always loved when he live streams uh, the Parada West concerts and Little Windex and. All them like that. That there was all cheering me up and everything else like that, which I, I I am so grateful for and that kind of thing. But again, um, personally, I think that every uh, because we all know the way. Uh, this is just an example uh, on the way internet can be at times. Um, or some situations uh, people have ran into, and that way this is just a word of encouragement that all, if you're running your own live, uh, uh, running your own live video streams on Facebook, and uh, you have people coming in and commenting, and you you got your live streams open to the public, uh, just means that anybody can come in and comment. Uh, just be cautious of what comments are being said, or how or what comments are being written, and uh, always be on top of things. Um, always smart. To always have when you're live streaming, no matter where you are, always have a pad and paper um, of any kind, uh, just in case if you ever have to use it. Uh, hopefully, you don't. Um, you know, with Jokers on Duty, it's the blue paper. Just like so you know, it's the blue paper that is the security paper, not the yellow paper. The yellow paper is for all all you good people uh, that give nice, good comments and uh, the Merry Christmas shout outs and, and that kind of and all the jokes will be written out. Uh, the, so th th those are for my everyday followers. Um, and uh, so the blue paper is the actual security uh, paper, uh, and that. So I, so again, uh, always at your ends if you if you're running live video streams, it is always good to have some type of security be security system on your live streams. Be re ready to record any problems that may try to start on your streams, uh, especially being open to the public because not everybody is out there is going to be. Peace, love, and positivity. Um, even my, my, Mike and I are starting to see that and uh, with a lot of people out there. And it, it, some people will just come through your streams just to, to, to start trouble and that kind of thing. Um, always be on the ball of that. I'm only encouraging you guys uh, because I know even you Ghostbuster guys, you do have, you do run very good streams. You do have, uh, I noticed with your streams, you do have children you do have to work with. Um, you're at children's events, toy stores. Always keep a good security on your live streams um, and that kind of thing. Um, always have a bad paper nearby in case it ever has to be used, uh, which I hope it never actually has to have a, you guys ever have to use a security system. But uh, with Jokers on Duty, our security system is the blue paper. Um, the good paper is the yellow paper. So the good shout-outs for my everyday followers, uh, because MFers has their everyday followers and that kind of thing. So they have good paper for the followers. Um, I also encourage them to get an actual, uh, uh, some type of uh, security system uh, with the pad and paper close by. Uh, so if they do run into any more future negativity, it is recorded and marked down, and uh, that way they're keeping their streams safe. In um, that way, so 
uh, that way also too they're keeping they're keeping on good ground, grounds itself with Facebook and uh, and that kind of thing um, and that, so that is just just a word of encouragement um, I'm bad for giving encouragement uh, in a positive way anyways um, and that so uh, again like 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 I said, I've been a, I, I, I've, I've, I've grown up as a kid, and I grew up in the big cities, and I grew up around all that kind of thing as a kid, and you know I've been in involved with cadets, army cadets, air cadets, uh, I, I, always, and then and that kind of thing. So I'm starting to see a lot of now I'm older. I'm starting to see a lot of way uh, how things change, and the, not everything always changed to the good. Sometimes things change to the bad, or you know people at one time at one time would have been. At uh, one time, probably was so good, uh, but uh, over the years, sometimes they change. Things happen. They end up changing to go, and they go the wrong way. They choose to go the wrong path, uh, and that kind of thing. So, you know, they end up taking a wrong road in society. Um, where sometimes even uh, I, I've noticed when I was growing up as a kid, all my neighborhood bullies I grew up with are now, have, you know, those guys. I thought would always get worse. No, they get some of those guys actually grew up smart and up and changed to the good. Uh, where all the good people that were always always good to me as a kid are now turning around and start starting to be bullies. So, um, you know that that's what I said. It's 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 always that big life cycle of change, and uh, and we just, we don't know why it happens, and uh, sometimes it's we can't explain why it happens. Uh, you know, it is, it is, it is just uh, not right. It, why? How come it happens? But it happens. Um, you know. Um, so again, uh, you know. So that that's why I said, like, you know, if, like a lot of your guys, you have your own live streams. I've watched some of them; they're great. Um, you know, always protect those li live streams as much as possible. Have some type of security system in place. Um, you know, especially if you're gonna open your streams to the public and that, um, and that. So, um, you you've got some type of, you know, you you've got if you have to in the case of an emergency, you have some type of type of report system, um, and that. Uh, you know, even if if you, uh, keeping things lot paper lo go back to old school lot paper log on top of everything, um. You know, um, like I have to do that with the uh, with the, this guy that's been bothering bothering me coming through. Like I said, he was a friend of my mom's for years, and all of a sudden he's changing. He's becoming a bully now, and uh, he said he's been saying things to me that's inappropriate on here. And he's just coming through. He's not he's not on my friends list, but again, that's why I got the blue paper, and uh, which is my actual security paper. So if he if he keeps coming through, um, he is actually going to be written up. And uh, and everything he says is going to be recorded. And uh, the good thing about Facebook, it shows you the time that the, that that particular comment is actually uh, been written out, and uh, time and hour, uh, and how long it keeps up for, and how many days it goes on for, or how many months it goes on for, or if it can, uh, or how long it goes uh, if it goes continuously on and on and on and on. Um, and that so um, so far he's sitting with a warning um, so anyhow so far he is sitting with a warning um, if he breaks that warning he continues he is uh, I'm sorry but uh, you know I know he's been a friend of my family's for years but I'm sorry but I'm gonna I, I don't want much as I don't want to I I am gonna write him up because like I said he did break off the friendship and uh, he did that on his own, and uh, and that kind of thing. So, you know, and uh, at this point in time, it's just something I didn't need when my mother just passed away in June, and uh, and that kind of thing. And uh, I have, and again, like all these years, I have done nothing to the guy. Um, you know, I've always been positivity with him. I've always been always polite to him. You know, I've always supported him, his store, everything. Um, you know that kind of, kind of thing. I've always bought and CDs and DVDs from him all the time. Uh, like I said, he was a friend of my mom's for years, and uh, and that. So, 
you know, I was always straight up with the guy and that kind of thing and uh, when, when I was a kid. But for all of a sudden now, all this big change um, and that. So, um, so anyhow, um, but I do have the respect not to mention that guy's name on here. But uh, again, this is uh, since now, I just let you know that I do have a security system in place. Uh, if he happens to pop through again, and uh, he wants, he wants, and he he's he's going to continue to say some of these mean things he's saying uh, towards me or my wife or about or or bringing up or bringing up, uh, uh, up the fact I don't care about my mother or anything else like that. Um, you know, um, you know, in a very negative, rude way. And all he's doing is coming through. He's hacking through, and all he's doing is starting. He he he's actually causing a dis he's causing harassment, and actually dis and is actually uh, causing a dis dispute. Um, I've been smart enough. I've not ever wrote back and said anything. I've I've been I played it smart. Um, when he started saying some of the things he was saying, I stopped writing him back. I just only wrote back once and said, you know, you don't have the right to say this kind of thing to me, and I left it at that. And uh, then I went off, and then he continued writing. I slept off and uh, filed a police report because I had no choice to. So, again, he has just got a warning. He's just sitting with a warning. But if he tries to, if he, if he, he's set, if he sits back in the, in the little bushes for the next few few months and then he tries thinks he's gonna st he starts up again now now I've got the actual blue paper I, I I'm kind of I'm actually I have no choice but I'm gonna write him up um, and that because it's not called for especially on Facebook it's it is actually classified as abuse so uh, it is harassment it, it is it is abuse so um, you know it, it's uh, and some of the profanity he, he's coming out with um, and that, like I said, I'm you know I'm not a mean person. I, I'm always a positive type type person. You know I always respect people for who they are. But uh, like I said, he he decided he's gonna say mean things to me on here. And uh, even before my mother died, he started up. And I almost I literally myself almost took a heart attack uh, because of it. Um, because on how on how close he's been his family's been close with my family for years and all of a sudden for him to start saying something like that it was not called for um and that especially when he's doing it from his store computers from his business which is actually going to jeopardize his business over time um because if he was to lose his internet service out of his store his whole entire store is going to lock down the police are going to lock it down and the his story is gonna go under, um, because he'll he'll be up on criminal charges. <coughs> so, um, so that again, it's uh, you know it is it is inappropriate behavior, as far as I'm, I'm concerned in that. So, um, like I said, like I tried everything thing to get down there when my mother went, I just couldn't get down there. Uh, it's too long of a drive down there. I don't drive. Uh, like I said, it was a bad, very bad situation for me to go, even be going through or, or thinking about going through Toronto. Uh, you know, it is or taking the risk of something uh, or something happening to me in Toronto. Uh, you know, as much as I do have relatives in Toronto, um, you know, it is uh, Toronto's too big of a city, and uh, you know. S chances of something happening to me is actually could happen very quicker uh actually going through toronto or or being or being kicked off the greyhound and actually being stranded because of my ner because if i had to take a nervous breakdown or whatever the driver would get pissed off and actually kick, kick me right off the bus out in the middle of the 401 and uh i'd literally be stranded and uh you know and he is not going to have the understanding that i'm going to that i would have been going to a funeral um, you know, uh, he wouldn't give a shit. He'd just kick you right off the bus. <laughs> um, and that, because, uh, they have to keep, they have, they have to have, have to keep the coach lines safe. Um, and that, which I don't blame them there. Um, but, uh, that's, that's why, that's why I chose not to travel was because of, at that time, 
back in August when uh, the funeral was my mom's funeral, uh, it would have been way too hard for me to travel in those kind of stressful conditions. Uh, there was uh, there was nobody around here to even help me out to get me to and from, um, and that 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 kind of thing. So it was uh, it was just one of those things that was a bad timing too when it happened, and uh, and that and that kind of thing. Um, but uh, yes, my rest of my family members was able to get down there. Uh, from other places, my cousin from North Bay, from S Salt Sioux, Saint Marie, there, she was able to get down there, but it didn't hit her as hard as hard as it would, it would have hit me, uh, because uh, yeah, she's a niece, but to my mom, but the, but again, this was my mother, so for me to travel in that condition would have been a lot harder, and uh, something would have actually happened to me in Toronto. And uh, that's that's what I said. So I played it smart, and I said, no, I'm not going to chance that. I'm not going to travel through, and uh, and that kind of thing. So um, so that way, I was just trying to think about keeping myself safe, and uh, figured I did not have no proper no proper way of being transported to and from, and then coming back would have been the hardest on me. Uh, because they would have had to transfer me. They would have to would have to transport me back uh, to Wyerton by EMS, uh, by paramedics, and uh, because of, of of the fact that on the stage I would have been in, and uh, and that they the the actual psychiatric hospital in Peterborough would actually have to transport me back home here by EMS, so uh, by paramedics. Where again, you would where I would have been actually temporarily isolated, under isolation, <coughs> and uh, I couldn't have seen myself that way uh, at any point, or even at that time. So, um, like I said, like I'm over it, over all that part of it. But uh, this Yahoo, he thinks he's gonna come through and uh, keep going on like that to me. Uh, I'm gonna have surprises up my sleeve that he's not gonna like. Um, because there, are, there again, there there is Facebook rules, and uh, I know I do know that uh, harass harassing somebody like myself, it would be would, or vic victimizing people is one of them, um, and that kind of thing. Um, at this point, uh, I'm glad he broke off the friendship because, like I said, I didn't, I didn't, I, 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 I I'm not. Uh, you know, it was, um, and I, he did that all on his own. Uh, it was, uh, I like I said, for years I've done nothing to the guy. I've always been good to him. My family's always been good to him. Um, but uh, he just thought he'd get on the controlling side and try to control me. And again, uh, that that's where you do have to watch because guys like that get into what you call a pedophiling mode. And uh, figuring they get uh, control over over somebody that's weaker than they are, and uses uses uh, a, 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 a uses somebody at their weakest point, and uh, and a, a close death of a relative like like my mother, uh, that is that is a very very weak spot that those type of people will try to vic victimize them very quickly, and uh, and that so you do have to watch out for. Um, and that that kind of thing, and that that's how you that's how that's how you actually become a target um, in life, and uh, that's not always right, and uh, and that and ninety percent of the times, no, it is not. Uh, you never ever see that kind of behavior from strangers. Ninety percent of the times, it's always somebody uh, that is always going to be close to the family that's going to that's going to target you quicker. Um, you know somebody that is uh like like he is has been friends with my mom for years uh you know and or and his family's been close close to my mom for years and uh and that 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 kind of thing um you know so that's 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 what you have to watch out for uh because 90% of that uh you know strangers are always are sometimes yes yeah, sometimes they're not sometimes they can be bad too but sometimes they can actually be helpful towards you uh in those type of situations and 9 9 tenths of the time it's always some yahoo that is close to your family that's known you or your family for years uh you know 
uh, that is that is going to victimize you a lot quicker, um, you know, and that kind of thing. Uh, so in everyday society, you gotta watch watch out, out, out for that kind of thing. Um, you know that this this is why this is why I was so heartbroken too because like I said he was good friends with my family for years and then all of a sudden he turns out like this like um, you know everything my family did for him and everything else like that um, we kind of you know now since my mom's passed on I kind of feel like I've been used a lot uh, by the by by him um, you know and that kind of thing. And uh, so, like, like like they said, always be careful because in the end, you really find out who your real friends are, um, and that kind of thing. Um, and that so, um, that's why, like, like, like I said, that's why I enjoy. Um, that's why I said I always enjoy sitting and watching Mike, Michael Klotz's shows and that kind of thing. Uh, I'm getting to know him. He's a really good guy. Um, and that and uh, and that kind of thing. And I love his MF for show. I think his MF for show. I think think they're doing a lot of great. Um, you know, like he always says, "You matter," and he says, "Always, always share the peace, love, and positivity." Um, and that and that kind of thing. And let the peace, love, and positivity shine through all your life. Um, try to avoid and stay away from negativity as possible. Uh, if you can, even though it is in this generation, it's hard to do. Um, but uh, don't be vict victimized of it, um, and that kind of thing will be trapped by it or be fooled by it, and uh, and that. So, um, you know, so um, you know, so that's that's that that's what I said. Like it's, uh, but I, I'm glad that, like I said, even my wife is doing well. Um, and that, uh, yeah, I know she has her habits and that kind of thing. Um, she is, she is, uh, she is a heavy smoker and that. But I can, I, I, I learn to respect that kind of thing. Um, and that, and she respects the fact that I'm a non-smoker. Um, but again, what worries me is because I've already went through this with my mom. If something ever happens to her, um, there's got like I'm saying, there's gonna come a time where I'm gonna be left alone again, and. Uh, you know, the second time around, it'd probably be twice as hard on me than a, than my mom ever was. My mom was the hardest, but I think my wife is going to be twenty times as hardest if something ever was to happen to her, um, and that kind of thing. Um, now, fortunately, with my mom, there was no will and testament, uh, which I ended up finding out, uh, which kind of screwed everything up. But uh, because normally with my kind of uh, kind of condition, um, I like I mean I've never I've lived usually with I've rented from families, rented rooms, but on my own. So t t t technically, it'd be really hard. Normally, uh, you know, if my wife wasn't wasn't around and I didn't know her, it'd be really hard for me to live on my own. Like I mean, I I, I think I'd be. Uh, to be probably shoved into a group home somewhere and uh that that kind of thing because i wouldn't uh you know my mathematics skills are, are are very are not good they're you know they're weak uh you know i i wouldn't be able to i wouldn't even actually be able to actually live on my own uh in the in, the, in that kind of thing you know, so I mean, it's only her that's keeping me afloat right now. That's what I said. If the time ever came and something ever happened to 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 her, I mean, like, um, and like I said, my mother had a, had a will. I know exactly what was going to be in it. Uh, number one thing was I would have been shipped down, uh, would have shipped down with my cousin in Montreal, or uh, and that kind of thing to be looked after, but. Um, you know, but uh, again, like, because right now I've got, I got, got my wife. So, I mean, if something ever happens to my wife, again, I'm back to square. I would be a back, back, back to, back to square one. I would, like, maybe my cooking skills are weak. Uh, you know, you could take all the cooking classes you want, and it doesn't help any. You know, like, I mean, uh, me when I throw a pork chop on the frying pan, I only cook. I, I, I don't have no patience to sit there and wait till it cooks. 
I'll, I'll cook it just for two seconds and leave it half raw, and then I'll eat it. Uh, same with the steak. Um, <laughs> you know, I ain't waiting five or six hours for the thing to cook. Uh, I have no patience when it comes down to cooking. Uh, you know, I'm just, I just can't help that. You know, it's uh, you get, you get the hunger craving. Like, man, you gotta eat, you gotta eat right away, right? Uh, you see, the moment you take it out of the package, I mean, it's, 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 you know, mm, food. I gotta eat. Uh, you know, uh, who cares if there's still blood running through it? <laughs> um, and that kind of thing. Same with my steaks. Now, steaks you can cook that way. Um, there's some meats you can ac actually cook that way and, and and eat it like that, and it won't harm you. But with pork chops and chicken, uh, you have to be careful because uh, that can make, make you sick if you eat it the wrong way. And it's not fully cooked. I'd probably be like half these other clowns. Living off junk food. <laughs> They're trying to live off McDonald's 24-7. Or KFC. Um, or potato chip. But, no, that's... that's that's that. That's what I said. It's uh, oh, but every day, like it's just one. I spend like you just take it one day at a time, and that like and that. So, uh, like I said, it's pretty good. I, I, you know, I I belong to clubs and that kind of thing. A few clubs here, anyways. Um, two of them, internationally once, uh, and that kind of thing. Uh, well, personally, with me, if you know, if it ever came, to, that time came, and my, you know, my wife was no longer around for whatever reason. Uh, I, th I, as much as I don't like having roommates, I would have to have, I would have to, I would have to share accommodations because I wouldn't be able to do things on my own, uh, and that kind of thing. Uh, it's not that, I, no, I, I, it's not that I'm not smart or not stupid or anything. Um, it, it is it, it is it would be just it, more joy of it it would be just too stressful on me and uh, would put me under too much heavy stress and everything else like that trying to keep up with everything um, you know it'll be very very hard on me and that kind of thing <coughs> but um, that's why I said right now I'm glad I'm married I'm glad I got my wife right now but uh, you know, like, like, you know, the, you, like your life cycle, it's, uh, people don't live for, like, like I said, like, you, you know, it's, we're people and, uh, we're controlled, like, uh, Paul Lucer says, uh, every human being has got a, a genetic of energy that, uh, keeps you living and, uh, once that energy drains out, you know, that's, uh, you know that that's that that's what causes an actual person can actually deteriorate out of existence, and uh, and that kind of thing. So, um, that's why I said we live one day at a time. We always have to, you know, have to keep watch out for one another. Um, you know, but like like I said, if I was ever left on my own again and that kind of thing, by which any any which reason, I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't. I'd be, I, I would be under too much heavy stress. It would put me under way too much heavy stress. Like right now, uh, my wife and I, we have this arrangement and uh, that we made together. Uh, yeah, we have a joint bank account. Uh, she pays the bills. And that, so as long as I get a little bit of spending money to spend at the end of each month and that kind of thing. Um, I do have my one day a, jo one day a week job newspapers. Uh, that gives me a little bit of extra, um, but we have this arrangement that she looks after all the, she looks after all the bills and that kind of thing to take 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 the stress off me and that kind of thing, which has been working pretty good. Um, I just get a little bit of spending money for coffee or uh, maybe the odd time she's nice enough she'll give me sixty dollars for spending money or whatever, uh, and that to keep me afloat and uh, and and that kind of thing. So she pays the bills. Um, after, after all the lot bills are paid, uh, after grocery shopping's done, uh, after a little bit of our movie shopping is done, well, that's just, the, that's the movie shopping is not necessary, we kind of added that in ourselves, <laughs> for entertainment, because we don't have cable, um, and that, so, um, well, I think she did on, on her end anyways, um, 
but leastly we're smart enough we go for the cheap if we do end up buying movies out of our spending money we go we go the cheap way we go to the cheap bins uh, we go to the hawk shop and we buy the cheap stuff and uh and that kind of thing um so by the time all the bills are paid off and that kind of thing uh, rent's paid life insurance is paid everything's paid uh what's ever, ever left over we split the money and she gets spending money i get i get a little bit of spending money so uh to do us for coffee or whatever to, to get us through through the rest of the month and that kind of thing after all the groceries are done so we use we use we use ours kind of in a smart way uh and that kind of thing so we kind of stretch it um but uh, here she likes going to Walmart and buying all brand new wardrobes. And here I'm shopping at the Salvation Army, literally wearing someone else's underwear <laughs> for like five bucks, <laughs> which I ain't too comfortable with because I don't like shopping for my clothes at the Salvation Army. But again, if I go to buy my clothes at Walmart or something like that, I cannot get clothes to fit. Uh, and that because I'm just so small and, and waist size. Uh, you know, they don't cater and sell to somebody my size. I mean, you know, it's pretty bad. I gotta buy, I still buy my shoes in the children's department, and I'm 37, and it's embarrassing because I go into the men's department to buy men's size shoes, like they don't fit. Um, you know, I can't help that. I'm like, I mean, I, I'm the size of a Christmas elf. I mean, <laughs> um, and that's so. Uh, even 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 if I go to buy it, uh, you know, buy um. A pair of jeans at, uh, at the store. I can't go to the men's department and buy jeans because they're too big, um, and that kind of thing. Or I've got to go to the I've I've got to go actually go to the youth section where the teen where they sell for the teenagers, or f sell for the or go or, or go to the kids clothing to go to the children's clothing department and buy my clothes. I can't help that uh, just because my size is so small, uh, and that kind of thing. Uh, and it's embarrassing at 37 years of age because anything in the men's department they don't cater and sell to my size. If I was to get anything custom made, it's gonna it probably would cost me a couple fourteen thousand dollars just to get it made, custom made, and to send away for that. And that, that is kind of ridiculous now with her because her taxes are so high, and uh, and that kind of thing. But uh, you know that is a that's the advantage of being a small type of small person for your age um and that kind of thing and being very short um that that's that's that that that's what i said my dad drank too much coffee when i before i was born <laughs> and decided to stop my growth instead of his own uh but he's the same size as me anyway so <coughs> um and that so um but anyhow that is so again the blue paper is Joker's on-duty security paper. I uh, hope I never, ever need it. Um, the yellow paper I have here is for... is, is The yellow paper is a good paper. Uh, this is for my everyday followers. Uh, for shout-outs. Merry Christmas shout-outs. All your good stuff, like your Joker's on-duty jokes and that kind of thing will be done on the yellow paper and pink paper, uh, probably orange red paper, but never on blue. Um, and that, so the blue paper is only only emergency paper only. Um, and that, and I got the different color markers, apparently I got a pad, I got, it's got stuff piled on it, but uh, it's got different color markers and that kind of thing. Uh, so when I buy the Bristol boards to put up the Jokers on duty signs and that kind of thing, uh, they're gonna be very bright. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, I'm gonna actually put you. In, I'm gonna put the Christmas lights on for you. Um, I'm still, I'm still writing out the Chris, uh, the Merry Christmas shout outs and that kind of thing. Uh, well, that's gonna go into the Joker's on duty hat and uh, and that. So, you know, again, I'm I, like again, I, I'm I'm living here one day at a time and that kind of thing. So, also too, there's uh, you can catch him after tonight from eight o'clock to nine with Michael Klotz. Um, Christmas Eve, Santa Claus is going to be on the Amafers for the little kids. Um, that way, the little kids can sit around the computer with their parents and tell Santa Claus what they want for Christmas and talk to him live. 
Um, also, too, uh, if you said you can, he has an address on the MFers page uh, where you can send your letters to Santa Claus and uh, do put your return address on it, too, because it goes to the MFers studio in Guelph, and uh, which is Guelph, Ontario, Canada, and little MFers will get a free t shirt and uh, mailed out to them. Or, I, I'm not sure how Michael's doing it all, uh, how he's got it set up. How Santa Claus has it set up, <laughs> um, and that kind of thing, um, and that. So, um, so again, you can catch that December twenty fourth from eight to nine p.m., which is live. Um, again, Santa Claus is on the MFers live, and uh, and that. So, there's, I guess they got a couple of concert lineups coming up in the in the new year. Uh, one of them is Chris Angel, I think, is uh, the magician guy, um, is live somewhere in Ontario, um, and that the the mind the mind freak concert was he's a magician, that kind of thing. Um, illusionists, um, anyhow, I I I, I, will, I will, I'm probably looking into following that, and uh, also to uh, Christmas Eve is um, I'm gonna try to stream in two locations. Uh, two from my friend's house here. Um, now I'm living in Wyrington and very happy. And uh, and then back into the Joker's on studio, here, Joker's on duty studio here under the Christmas lights, um, and that kind of thing. And uh, so anyhow, um, so I hope everybody's having a great night. Um, I am going to be checking in with, uh, whenever he's on next and that kind of thing with, uh, Jesse Heck, yes. And I'll be following his streams whenever he sends out the invites and whenever he's on next. Uh, if he's still continuing doing his shows and that kind of thing. And, uh, Vape TV, <laughs> Vapor TV. Uh, I would like, I like how he does that. Dylan does that with, uh, he makes his homemade, he makes his own, own made, uh, oil vapors. Uh, I think they're really, really cool. Um, I don't ever see myself buying anything like that, but no, I, I don't. Uh, I just sit back and I watch them and that kind of thing. I think it's cool on how he makes his own stuff up and uh, makes his own, own kind of, you know, how he makes that kind of thing himself and that kind of thing. Um, how he does everything homemade. It, it takes you back to the it, it takes you back to the pioneer days and. Uh, Way back to the generation when people didn't have anything and uh, everything was hand built and uh, and that kind of thing. So that that, that kind of gives you that kind of reminder. And um, also too, um, there is also uh, you can also catch uh, you can also catch Fog TV soon um, with Paul Lucer. And uh, which is Paranormal Hunters of Guelph, uh, and that's so, so, so sometimes, he's, sometimes he goes through the band of buildings and that, uh, goes on a ghost hunt, and, uh, goes on a ghost tracking and that kind of thing, um, and research band of buildings and that kind of thing. He's got a bunch of new locations coming up, um, where he's going, where there, there, there's going to be uh, ghost investigations going on. And uh, he does, he also does more than just ghosts. Uh, he does poltergeist investigation. He does UFO sightings investigation. He does alien, uh, even an alien abduction investigations. He does alien sightings investigations. Uh, anything to do with the super, super, uh, supernatural, the par or anything to do with paranormal activity or supernatural activity, uh, he's into, uh, and that kind of thing. So he's a little bit like uh, if you remember any, if anybody ever remembers uh, growing up with the X Files or Most Haunted or Mystery Unknown, uh, a lot of those ghost shows and that kind of thing. Uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, hauntings, um, the uh, the uh, the actual uh, the Adamyville case. Uh, the, the poltergeist, Adamyville ghost sighting in the Adamyville house in uh, the United States, uh, something 111 Ocean Lane Avenue or whatever they used to call it. I can't remember. Maybe I got it. Maybe it's 112. I can't remember. Um, again, that house has several history too of hauntings and that kind of poltergeist activity, 
and uh, how how everybody kept moving into it and moving out of it. Uh, I have all the movies, by the way. Uh, that's how I know about it. Like, uh, but but it says right on it's based on a true story, and I love the movies. I mean, even the movies, you know, they're so realistic. Um, man, I can't even sleep at night after watching those movies, um, uh, and that. So, um, you know, so he does. Uh, he is uh, Fog TV covers all, everything like that kind of a thing. Um, anything, anything to do with ghosts are there. Um, they love it. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're into that. Um, any, 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 anything to do with, uh, anything of the paranormal, the supernatural, um, they, or any links like that, they, they, they're for. And, uh, and I'm so grateful they, uh, came out to visit me and that kind of thing. And, uh, I had bought, uh, a t-shirt off them. And that kind of thing, and I really love my T-shirts. I think I think they're great, and uh, and that. And thank you guys for coming out, and uh, you guys are always welcome out here anytime you guys want. Um, maybe when the weather gets nicer and that kind of thing, if you're out this way or you can't get back there in time to do your MFR sessions, you can always do it from here. The Joker's on Duty Studio here. I've got, I guess I've not, I've got no problem with that, um, and that. So. Um, and that so there's a shout out from Michael Klotz there and Paul Lucer. Um and that so um also too um so again Christmas is coming up and then there's the New Year's live countdown coming up uh New Year's Eve, December thirty first. And uh again there's a couple more times with the Christmas lights. Uh Christmas lights will go on tomorrow night. I'm just, I'm so sorry I couldn't get them on tonight for you. Uh, and that kind of thing, because I was still in the middle of doing the Christmas, uh, doing the Merry Christmas shoutouts, um, and that getting them written up, and uh, and that kind of thing. So that that's why I said uh, we're most streamers. They're not on a script. Uh, we're jokers on duty. Actually, uh, we have like a we have like a what do you call it? Sometimes a script program, um, and that kind of thing. So same with our jokes are written out, and uh, which takes us time to prepare and that kind of thing. Like, it's not nothing we put together last minute. Or over within twenty four hour period, um, you know. So um, again, so so it takes us some time to to put that together, and also too, um, I'm gonna do a bit of a bit of a comedy thing here for you. Um, I'm actually gonna show you um, some night. Um, I'm gonna get out all my Blu-rays I own, and I'm gonna show you all the Blu-rays I own. I'm gonna show you all the DVDs I own. And they're big mountains too. There's a lot of it, and all my PS3 games. I even I even have PS2 games too. Um, once and once I get another TV, I'm gonna really hook up the PS2 to it, and uh, and that kind of so. Um, I'm actually gonna I, I I'm gonna and I've got Xbox games and that kind of thing, and I've got a lot of PS3 games. I've got a lot of Blu-rays. I've got a lot of DVDs. I got them coming out of my Yahoo, out of my Yin Yang. <laughs> And uh, and that kind of thing, so that's so funny. I because because what it is, I buy and collect them. So um, and some of the ones I do have are, are too old ones that you can't get anymore. Uh, that you have to sometimes have to specially order. That are that are maybe might have been dis discontinued. Uh, I've got a few little Disney ones. I've got the original Pete's Dragon before the new one was made. Uh, I was I, yes, you guys might say yeah, he too old to be watching Pete's Dragon, but guess what? I still I, I still watch it because uh, I remember growing up with it. I always loved it, um, that kind of thing. So, um, like I said, I might be thirty seven years old, but you're never ever too old uh, to to watch uh, watch movies that you've always remember you grew up with. Um, Saying some of the old He Man cartoons, I still watch them. Um, you know, Power Rangers. I'll sit back and watch. I grew up with. Um, but yeah, uh, too, also too, I still, because of the fact I do love watching my horror movies, um, the older cartoon comedies actually breaks, breaks the Nightmare Channel. Uh, so if you're watching a whole night of, uh, horror movies and before you go to bed, uh, usually the best thing to do is to pop in a comedy cartoon. So, so that way it, it, it actually disconnects that, uh, brain channel up here that is going to replay the horror movie in your head all night long and give you nightmares. Um, so, so, so that way you can actually have a com comfortable night's sleep. 
and that kind of thing. Uh, so that way it clears it clears everything out of there. And that so uh, so that way you've got something funny to watch, you know, you, something to get get you laughing. Uh, so so that way you know it mixes it mixes the because your brain what it does is when you watch a movie your brain will repeat that is like your your uh, brain is like like a video recorder it records the movie in your brain and then when you go to bed at night that movie is is that you just watch is replaying back in your head uh, is is actually your brain will will replay that movie same movie back and you can actually visualize that in your sleep uh, so if you're visualizing a replay of a comedy you watched after a horror movie uh, so you get a better night's sleep um, if you're you know if it's just the horror movie replaying back in your mind uh, it's gonna keep you up all night and uh, you're gonna get into a thing called night tremors and uh, it can be very dangerous <laughs> if you know what I mean um, and that's so that's why it's always good to put on a good comedy after watching a good horror movie uh, set of horror movies and that kind of thing uh, so that way it, you, you get a comfortable good night's sleep and that kind of thing and um, anyhow uh, like Michael Klotz would always say, always remember your peace, love, positivity, and you matter. And uh, this was your Jokers on Duty. Have a great day, guys.